too late. Engine is already here. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Zidana. Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. And what you had done could be forgiven. But no. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest entrance site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Rodko, you let Adana infiltrate Endrin? My fucking daughter? After what happened with her mother? Your daughter is the best undercover agent I have. We will not win our fight for Gaia without first bringing Endrin down. And with your daughter on the inside, we're closer than ever. She may not fight like we do, but she's every bit as strong. You should respect that. The work she's doing inside Indrin is absolutely vital. More so after what their private fucking army just did to us. I'm afraid her work won't be able to stop Indrin from retaliating against us. Not after our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Hendron bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank Girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace 
Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. Tell me about Idana. How have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I trained her to be a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight. To defend herself. So that we wouldn't see a repeat of what happened to Ludmilla. You say that, but she's working undercover inside Endrin's walls. That doesn't sound like your kind of training. Adana decided that she could best aid our struggle through more covert means. It took me some time to come around, but she was right. She's a talented infiltrator, just like her mother. Rest assured, though, Adana's just as much Garu as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, she succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing, but it was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make some concessions. I can imagine. There are a lot of humans in the Cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's lamb to mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too. At first. At first? So you've changed your mind about humans. That's a surprise. A lot of things have changed in the past five years. Myself included. For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. And now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans aren't afraid to put their lives on the line for the planet. What more could I ask for? Until I'm healed. There's no way we can make a move on the training center. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then, we'll talk about the mine. <laughs>